In the mysterious jungles of Komodo, spread over the vast territory of Indonesia, reigns a real dragon among lizards, Komodo Varanus. This incredible representative of fauna attracts attention not only for its gigantic size, but also for its harsh temperament and venomous threat, which makes it the highest predator in its ecosystem. The Komodo Varan is the largest lizard on our planet. It is also known as the Komodo Dragon, and for good reason, its harsh temperament, gigantic size and venom make it a supreme predator and extremely dangerous not only for any animal, but also for humans. It is worth starting with the fact that it belongs to a species of lizard in the Varan family. It is also called the giant Indonesian Varan, the Komodo Dragon, or the Land Crocodile. This species of Varanus is quite ancient, in fact, the oldest remains that have been found are more than 3.8 million years old. The appearance of the Komodo varan is quite formidable. Its body is covered with small plate-like scales called osteoderms. The color of the Komodo varan is dark, mostly brown, has small spots and flecks of yellow. It is worth noting that the older the individual is, the darker it becomes. Young Komodo varans often have larger yellow spots and sometimes have orangish or reddish spots on their backs. The size of the Komodo varan is impressive. Their body length is usually between 2.2 and 2.6 meters. The average weight of Komodo varanas is between 35 and 60 kilograms. An interesting fact is that males are much larger than females, and it is not uncommon to find individuals with a body length of 3 meters and a weight of more than 70 kilograms. In captivity, these varanas grow even larger. One of the zoos in St. Louis contained an individual with a body length of 3.13 meters and a weight of 166 kilograms. The tail of the Komodo varan is quite long and is about half the length of its body. This lizard can become on its hind legs during hunting or when fighting with individuals of its own species. The Komodo varan can grow up to 1.4 to 1.5 meters, depending on the length of its body. Komodo varanas live alone gathering in groups only for food or during the breeding season. They are awake during the daytime, although they can be active at night if necessary. They choose the second half of the day for hunting. The life expectancy of these varanas in the wild is up to 50 to 60 years. An interesting fact about Komodo varanas is that the life expectancy of females is almost twice as short as that of males. In captivity, Komodo varanas live much shorter lives and there have been no recorded cases of this varan living for more than 25 years. The voice of the Komodo varan is quite specific. This animal lacks vocal cords, so it can only make hissing sounds. Sound signals are used to show its irritation. When hunting, the Komodo varan uses almost all parts of its body, paws with huge and sharp claws, jaws with razor teeth, and even its tail. Due to the fact that half of the length of the body of this predator is his tail, he successfully uses it as a formidable weapon. An adult Komodo dragon can break the legs of large parno-hoofed animals with a blow of its tail, thus depriving them of any attempt to escape or the ability to resist. It was even described that a dog crept up to a varan from behind, and he hit it with his tail with such force and at such an angle that it flew in an arc straight into his mouth. The skull of Komodo varans is rather light and cannot accommodate a lot of muscle mass. Hence, the bite of these predators is almost 2.5 times weaker than that of crocodiles. For example, the Nile crocodiles use the power of their jaws, grabbing them their victim, making strong jerks head from side to side, up and down, doing flips, thereby tearing off huge pieces of meat and limbs from their victims. Komodo Varan uses a different tactic, biting the victim he pulls it on himself. The Komodo dragon has many razor-sharp teeth, curved and jagged similar to the teeth of a shark. By biting and pulling back, the varan tears the soft tissues of its victim, causing irreparable damage. Komodo varanas are quite successful hunters. In general, they prefer the ambush style of hunting, waiting for their prey at watering holes or grazing areas. When attacked, the predator immediately tries to knock its prey down by tearing its tendons with a bite or hitting it with its tail. If the attack is unsuccessful, the victim is chased. Running speed in the Komodo Varan is not the most outstanding and rarely exceeds 20 km per hour. Nevertheless, in the neck he has a special sinus, which as a pump pumps oxygen into their lungs, allowing them to maintain maximum speed for a long time. In most cases, a wounded animal is not able to elude the chase for a long time and the predator catches up with its prey. For hunting, the Komodo Varan chooses mainly daylight hours, preferably the second half of the day. However, they can also hunt successfully at night. 
In the dark time of the day for a successful attack of the Komodo Varen will help excellent sense of smell due to the bifurcated tongue like a snake, with which he can smell the victim for 10 kilometers, as well as good hearing. Is the Komodo Varen poisonous? Yes, this predator possesses two glands in its lower jaw that produce venom. This toxin causes muscle paralysis and hypothermia in the victim, impairs blood clotting and lowers blood pressure, resulting in shock and loss of consciousness of the victim. Of course, all of this is only possible if the venom is abundant in the wound. For example, for a deer weighing more than 40 kilograms to faint, for milligrams of poison will be enough. But even with a small amount of toxin in the blood, the victim will feel sick, which together with blood loss from the wound reduces its chance of rescue to zero. In addition to venom, the Komodo varin saliva contains a host of pathogenic bacteria. Once in the victim's wound, they can cause rapid and severe inflammation. However, there is still no scientific evidence that the pathogenic flora in the saliva helps these varanas in hunting. All these factors make the attack of the Komodo varin deadly for all who meet him on the way. This species of varanus originated and evolved in Australia, their historical homeland. And about 900,000 years ago, the Komodo varin began to inhabit the nearby islands. Now the Komodo varin lives in the country of Indonesia on the islands that are part of the Lesser Sunda Islands. The number of individuals about 2,000, which live exclusively near the coast due to human activity. As a habitat, the Komodo varin predominantly chooses dry, sun-warmed areas. Therefore, the Komodo varin lives in arid plains, savannas, dry tropical forests. Quite often this predator can be found on the coast in search of food. Komodo varanas are very good swimmers. They willingly enter the seawater, they can even swim to neighboring islands, having overcome huge distances. Young Komodo varanas live in hollow trees and tree crowns. As they mature, they dig burrows with their strong paws with large, sharp claws for shelter. The burrow of the Komodo varan can be from 1 to 5 meters long. The Komodo varan feeds on different animals depending on its age. Young varanas hunt insects, birds and their eggs, crabs, rodents. With their growth, the size of the objects of hunting increases. Adult Komodo varanas feed mainly on wild boars, deer, and other ungulates. A large varan is able to kill an animal 15 times heavier than itself in mass. There have been cases when this lizard successfully hunted a buffalo weighing more than a ton. Large numbers of Komodo varans may congregate in feeding areas to smell blood. In the process of eating large game, these predators have a strict hierarchy, larger and stronger eat first. Feeding is accompanied by fights, smaller brethren not infrequently try to kill, and then eat larger individuals. Cannibalism among Komodo varans is not uncommon, especially in famine years, when the diet of large varans can count up to 10% of eaten smaller brethren of their species. The Komodo varan is very voracious, thanks to its sharp teeth and the curve of its mouth, it is able to bite off pieces of meat up to 2.5 kilograms at a time. In one go, the varan can eat an amount of meat equal to 80% of its body weight. The prey is eaten together with bones, hooves, horns, scales, feathers, after which all the undigested contents of the stomach varan regurgitates together with mucus. After a meal, the Komodo varan performs hygienic procedures, licks itself, and then wipes its mouth on the ground or vegetation. Komodo varanas are dangerous to humans. Their size, sharp teeth and claws, aggressive behavior can bring lethal consequences even for an adult male. But despite all this, Komodo varanas do not consider humans as a victim, only children. On an adult man, Komodo varan can attack in hungry times when there is a lack of food. To attack can provoke a fresh wound in a person, scratches, or recently undergone surgery. These predators have an excellent sense of smell and can easily smell blood even when bandaged. The islands where Komodo varanas live are not heavily populated by humans. However, there are still settlements there, the number of which is steadily increasing. In these regions, people are often engaged in agriculture, fishing, and cattle breeding. Because of the smell of fish or livestock, lizards enter villages, especially in famine years. This is what leads to cases of Komodo lizards killing people. It is still difficult for a Komodo varan to kill an adult human on the spot. The most common causes of death are blood loss from wounds and failure to provide timely medical care. It is not uncommon for Komodo varanas to dig up fresh human graves to feed on dead bodies. The Komodo varan should never be domesticated and kept as a pet. It is a large and dangerous animal that cannot be trained and will eat its owner at any opportunity. 
The Komodo varan can be kept in zoos, in specially designated and fortified enclosures. Ready to breed, the Komodo varan becomes from the fifth to the tenth year of its life. Very few individuals survive to this age. The ratio of males to females is very different. One female has three or more males. These factors are a kind of natural regulation of population size and the conditions of life on the islands. Due to the fact that males of Komodo varans are much more numerous during the mating season, fights take place. The males wrestle, stand on their hind legs, wrap their front legs around the opponent, and try to pull him to the ground. In such fights, the largest and strongest individuals win. Young and vice versa, old individuals become defeated, not rarely killed and eaten. Mating of Komodo varans occurs in winter during the dry season. After mating, females search for a place to lay their eggs. For this purpose, they often choose nests of local birds called bolshinog, or as they are also called, weed hen. These birds create piles of fallen leaves, which serve as incubators and help thermoregulation during egg development. In these piles, the female digs a rather deep burrow for laying eggs. Sometimes the female digs several burrows at once to distract predators, such as wild boars, which like to eat the eggs of Komodo varans. In summer, from early July to late August, the female Komodo varan lays about 20 eggs. The eggs weigh about 200 g, are up to 10 centimeters long and about 6 centimeters in diameter. For 8 to 8.5 months, the female guards her clutch of eggs. After hatching, the little lizards immediately leave their mother and climb nearby trees. To avoid being eaten by their adult brethren and other predators, Komodo varanas spend the first two years of their life mostly in the crowns of trees. An unusual and very interesting fact about Komodo varanas is that they are capable of incomplete reproduction, the so-called parthenogenesis. In the absence of males, the female still lays unfertilized eggs. The offspring develops and hatches, and exclusively male individuals are born. This phenomenon was recorded in zoos in England. Thus, if a female gets to an island without males, she will still be able to breed and populate it. Many people are wondering why is the Komodo varan on the brink of extinction? The Komodo varan is listed in the International Red Data Book and is endemic, i.e. it lives exclusively on the islands of Indonesia. Although the population of these animals is considered stable, especially on the larger islands, it is nevertheless declining. In order to protect the species from extinction, Komodo National Park was established in 1980. It now organizes tours of both scientific and recreational nature. Therefore, it is impossible to say that the Komodo varan is on the verge of extinction. The reason why the number of Komodo varans has significantly decreased is due to human activities, particularly due to tourism, destruction of the food base, as well as human settlement of the animal's habitat and its prey. For example, on Padar Island, the population of the Komodo varan has disappeared and since 1975 the species has been extinct. Presumably, the reason for this was the extermination by poachers of large animals, which the Komodo varans used to feed on. In addition to humans, nature itself also poses a threat to the conservation of the Komodo varan. Volcanic activity in the region, earthquakes, as well as forest fires threaten the life of both the predator and its prey base.